Cold and flu season is quickly approaching, and while there are many home remedies you can use to alleviate symptoms, there is one powerful food medicine that I never go a season without. It's super easy to make in your own home and only requires two ingredients that you most likely use all the time. We're talking fermented honey garlic. I call fermented honey garlic food medicine because it really is just two simple food ingredients. They both have their own laundry list of beneficial compounds and attributes. However, when you combine them with the power of fermentation, they create a powerhouse for cold and flu season. To make fermented honey garlic, you're only going to need three things. A clean jar with a lid, garlic, and the star, honey. Now you do want this to be raw honey and preferably local. Raw honey means that it's still going to have all the beneficial enzymes and nutrients, not to mention it's loaded with lactic acid bacteria and yeast, which is going to help with that fermentation process. So one of the downfalls to the internet is that literally anyone can post anything. So you're gonna get a lot of conflicting information, especially when it comes to the homesteading and natural remedies world of things. And that's simply because everyone has their way of doing things and they think that what works for them is how everyone should do it. I have my way of doing things, but I love to experiment and I love to get to the bottom of why things work the way they do. So I always try to explain why I do things a certain way, especially if it's taught differently by a majority of people. So if you like to know the why behind the how, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, all that to say, I crush my garlic clothes for garlic honey. You'll see it done both ways. You'll see people swearing by it both ways and saying the other side is wrong. So here's why I do it. One of the most medicinal compounds found in garlic is called allicin. It's what gives the garlic that strong sulfur smell whenever you cut or chop it up. Allicin is shown to be extremely beneficial when it comes to garlic's antimicrobial and antioxidant properties, both of which we want in high concentration when we're fighting a bug. So crushing or chopping garlic activates an enzyme called allinase, which converts the precursor compound allin into that allicin. And then the fermentation process further makes that compound more bioavailable to our bodies. So one of the most beneficial compounds we want in our garlic honey can be severely decreased or even non-existent if we don't crush those cloves. So in addition to the benefits of the allicin, this is the ferment. So it's gonna be incredibly boosting for your gut health. Garlic also has antiviral and antimicrobial properties and it can stimulate the production of immune cells. And then with honey's medicinal properties and the fact that it soothes, this Fermentation elixir is literally a powerhouse for like any bug. You wanna put a tight fitting lid on this, but don't forget to come and burp it every few days. The beneficial bacteria begin to feed on the sugars in here and they release CO2 as a byproduct. Carbon dioxide buildup in a small vessel, not so great. Unless you want your kitchen covered in honey. In addition to burping every few days, you'll also want to flip your jar to ensure that the cloves stay submerged in the honey. You'll only need to babysit for a few weeks, then it'll start to mellow out. The fermentation gets better with age. I usually wait three to four weeks before I start consuming anything, but it's technically ready after about two weeks. This is some leftover honey from my ferment from last year. I've eaten all the cloves, but as you can see, the honey is extremely liquidy. Don't be alarmed when this happens. It's completely normal. My favorite way to consume this is to just put the honey in my tea or if I'm making an immune boosting shot, um, the garlic cloves, I'll put those in my immune boosting shot as well, but I'll usually just eat those raw. I actually have a blog post which I'll link down below that has like over a dozen different ways that you can use this and incorporate it into your daily life. So this year I'm gonna be putting fermented honey garlic to the ultimate test. Every year, usually around Christmas, we get our annual cold and flu bug. I'm starting all of my jars now, so they'll be ready by November. And then come November 1st, I'm gonna start eating one garlic clove a day. I just wanna see if it'll lessen that yearly sickness or just completely prevent me from getting it in the first place. I'm probably gonna document that journey on my Instagram, which I do have a link below, so follow us over there. Hit that thumbs up button down below to help boost this content up to others who would benefit from it and make sure you're following. Thanks for watching. Now get to ferment. We in a <gasps> damn fly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just two food products. 
I know, honey. He says that all the time. Mom is trying to film. Oh, damn it. I need to put it up. Everyone should do it. Hey, I crush my garlic.